Hello folks, welcome back to my channel. You may agree when I say the original counterpoise wires are coming with the JPC-12 are crap. Let me show you what I mean. I'm talking about these computer thingy wires, flat ribbon computer cable wires. Um, yeah, they do work, um, but in my opinion they are not very effective. I've used them at the beginning when I got the antenna. So this is one of my counterpoise wires I used uh, during my first uh, POTA activations with this antenna. But there is always room for improvement. So I made my own counterpoise wires. Let me show it to you. I bought 100 meters of uh, lightweight SOTA beams cable. This is uh, 0.22 square millimeter, I guess. That's uh, around about 24 AWG. And I added this ring terminals. And the way this works, uh, I take the base of the JPC-12 and the ground spike and I simply put the ring terminal over the ground spike and then I screw it into the base. And I do this with five to six, sometimes uh, more radials, depending on the ground. And it works great. There are several other solutions you can buy, like these uh, discs on AliExpress, uh, or this one, this is a stainless steel plate and there's also this uh, connector plate here by JNC Radio. The problem I see with this JNC Radio disc is uh, it's very thick and if you screw your ground spike into the disc you cannot screw it into your antenna base anymore so you need to prolong the thread or use an adapter or whatever. And recently I came up with another idea which is cheap. I had all the parts in my craft box and first of all it's very lightweight. And this is it. I simply screw this plate which is also very thin. I think this is uh, two millimeter or two and a half millimeter aluminum or aluminum. I simply screw this into the base unit and that's it. Let me show you how I made this quick and dirty and what's the purpose. So first I need to measure the diameter of the base, the JPC-12 base. This is around about 33-ish millimeters. So I'm going to make the mounting plate around about 60, 60 millimeters. Here we go. And I'm going to use this old piece of uh, aluminum or aluminum, depending on which side of the pond you are. And I will use this as the uh, base of uh, or the, the main piece of the mounting plate. Let's make a circle. And I'm using this scissor, I guess you call it uh, tin snips, uh, to cut this out. Yeah, once again, this is uh, no rocket science. It's very, very roughly measured and it's just to connect uh, the radial wires.
this is how it looks like when it's assembled. Now I have to wait for the alligator clips I ordered on Amazon. <clears throat> this will take two days. For me it's two days, for you it's just a fraction of a second. And I'm back again and the alligator clips arrived from Amazon. There are 50 of these clips in one package. And now I'm going to solder these clips onto the other end of the counterpoise wire so then I can whether use the ring terminals or the alligator clip, whatever I prefer. Let's move this out of the way and then remove the shield and then I bend the wire over just a little bit and let me put this in. Mm. Maybe I simply squeeze this a little bit in before I start soldering just to keep it in place. Okay, looks good. And now let's solder this on just to make sure it stays in place. Yeah, not very fancy, but it works. Here we go. And now I can put the base of the antenna into the ground and then I simply clip on the counterpoise wires like so. And for any reason, if I need a longer counterpoise wire, then I simply clip this on to the next one and so I can daisy chain them. Now let me put this back on to the uh, wire winder like so. Okay, this is moving around, but this doesn't matter. Here we go. Okay, it's a little bit of mess here in my room, but this is like a radio shack. Should look like HI. Let's put this on here. And then I simply clip this on here. And here we go. Now I have to do the same with all my other radial wires. There are two more of them. And then I'm good to go. As you can see, this is a very easy, quick and dirty solution. And I'm mainly focused on weight. So that's the reason why I wanted such a small and lightweight disc. That's it for the moment. 73, thanks for watching. Bye bye.